Hurricane Norma intensifying quickly in the Eastern Pacific. So here is Norma, as you can see on the screen, now a Category 1 on the Safa Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale with a position of 15.3 degrees north and 107.9 degrees west. It currently has a wind speed of 80 miles per hour, which is 130 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 984 millibars, and is currently moving north-northwest at 340 degrees at 7 miles per hour. Latest at 1 p.m. at Manzanillo, which is 2 p.m. in Mexico City, and 8 UTC. The wind fields for the storm look like this 120 inside of the northeast quadrant, 90 inside of the southeast quadrant, 60 inside of the southwest quadrant, and 120 inside of the northwest quadrant. The distance in miles looks like this it's 575 miles from Manzanillo, 659 miles from Puerto Vallarta. 772 miles from Guadalajara, 855 miles from Cabo San Lucas, which is actually inside the path of the storm, and 891 miles from Mazatlan. So then, the storm has a max sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. The ATCF and Force 13 have it at 80 miles per hour, and SATCON and the NHC have it at 70 at this current time. The cone, as you can see, will head north northwest before then heading northeast, and it will intensify to a major hurricane very very soon before then heading off towards the Baja California Peninsula, and it looks like it will very very quickly rapidly intensify before then dropping slightly before heading towards the peninsula. So then the sea surface temperatures look like this, you can see it's very very warm to the north and to the east of the storm and it, did, it does dip down slightly to the west but that probably won't affect the intensifying rate of this storm at all so it looks like it's got a very very good sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm. Right then, so the multi-model diagnostic comparison looks like this, you can see the peak there on October 20th, the GFS falling a bit behind than the other models but it's a relatively similar peak point there. The deep layer shear seems to just increase overall and does not stop increasing, as you can see there. Um, the track, as you can see on the left, you can see very, very prominently going towards the Baja California Peninsula. And the, and the sea surface temperatures will dip, but also rise slightly in the coming days. So here is the satellite imagery for Norma. As you can see, it's looking a lot better and has some very, very good hurricane characteristics now and definitely looks like it's ready to um, rapidly intensify. As you can see they're looking a lot more organised.